In this video, I'm going to talk to you just a little bit on ways that you can save and also budget your money. So watch this video to the end because I'm going to show you step by step how on how to set up your categories and also every single line item in your budget. Hello, my name is Josh and I make videos on ways that you can save, make money and all things related to your finances. So if you care about your money, go ahead and click that red subscribe button until it turns gray and that way you don't miss anything. Now saving money is important. You want to make sure that you're putting aside money every single month. Most people do not manage their finances properly. And in fact, most people out there are living paycheck to paycheck. That's where their expenses are a certain amount of money and the money that they're making from their job and all of the money that they're bringing in is just enough to knock out their expenses. If not, their expenses are even higher than the money that they're bringing in. And if you're living that way, I'm talking about living paycheck to paycheck and you don't have an, any money to get ahead, that's what they call the rat race. The rat race is pretty much like this. It's like a rat that's in the wheel. You know, whenever the gerbil is just turning and turning and running and running. But at the end of the day, that rat is still in the same place when he started. That he's still inside of that wheel just running. But the thing is, he's still exhausted. And a lot of people today are in their finances like if it was the rat race. In the rat race, you will never be able to get ahead. You will just be repeating the same cycle over and over just to stay afloat. You do not have any extra money to throw at your investments, building a business, going on vacation, home projects, anything that you want to do for that matter. That's why I believe that debt is dumb and should be avoided at all costs. People who are in the rat race find themselves working very hard just to pay off their debts and they have nothing else to show for it at the end of the month or at the end of the day. That's why I believe that the borrower is slave to the lender. You go out and work all the time, but the only thing that you have to show for it is making Bank of America, Chase Freedom, and MasterCard richer while you are finding yourself still just spinning in that circle over and over and over. You are tiring yourself out and they are benefiting from that. Before you are in position to invest or anything else that you would like to do, first you have to give yourself a little wiggle room in your finances. And the best way to plan for that wiggle room is by setting up a budget. A budget is simply a roadmap that will help lead you to your financial destination to achieve your financial goals. It's like this. If I was to tell my wife that we were going on a trip, she would want to know where we were going, why we were going, how long we're going to stay going, when we're going to come back, what we need to pack, what it will be all of these questions about reaching our destination. So my question is, why are we not planning like this and why aren't we taking the time out to sit down and plan out our budget when it relates to our finances? Everyone's finances are not the same. Everyone's situation is different. So you will have to sit down and think about what you want to include in your budget and find out the things that are realistic in order for you to achieve your financial goals. So many people are afraid when it comes to creating a budget because they feel that they have to give up their way of life. And let me just tell you, that's not true. Your budget is not there to limit you. Your budget budget is there to help you create a plan and devise a plan so that way you do not dig yourself in a deeper hole when you're trying to get out of a hole. You can't dig yourself out of a hole by digging from the bottom. I'm someone who lives on a budget. And being on a budget, I'm still able to take my kids out for ice cream. I'm still able to have frequent date nights with my wife. I buy things, not just the things that I need, but also some of the things that I want to because I have a budget in place. That's the great thing about a budget. You get to choose the items and categories that you want to be included in your budget. And it's true if you sacrifice more in the short term that you will 
be able and it will help you reach your destination quicker. But that's a personal decision. It's true that for instances that you may have to delay gratification, but you have to ask yourself, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want what you are going out of? How bad do you want to reach that goal in order for you don't have to stress about money anymore? That you can take care of that home project that you've been putting off because you are afraid of how much it's going to cost. Whatever it is that you want and you set for your financial destination, how bad do you want it? Because the thing is, there's a lot of people out there that say, just because I'm on a budget, I have to give up my lifestyle. I have to eat rice and beans, beans and rice forever. And But that's not the case. When you have a budget, I'm, my budget might, I might get pen and paper right now and say, in my budget, I do not want to eat rice and beans that in my budget I want to eat a steak at least one time a week I can just make a plan right now and your budget is pretty much saying that the money that's coming in will equal the money that's going out or the money that's coming in might actually be more than the money that's going out and that way you have more money in your budget in order to save or to put toward that vacation or to pay off more debt or whatever that you set as being why you are doing this. And that's a, a very important question. Whenever you're setting up a budget, you have to know why you're doing something because when you say why I'm doing this, those are the things out there that will give you purpose. Those are the things out there that will motivate you and inspire you and keep pushing you on when you have your why in place that's really just giving you the purpose in order to achieve and reach your financial goal so before you come up with your budget make a list of all of your income streams that's the money that's coming in if you have a side job a side hustle if you uber freelance child support, whatever that is coming in, make sure that you include all of that money in your income stream. After which, you also want to list out all of your current expenses. You may need to go through your credit cards, banking statements, receipts, whatever, to see what you normally pay out for certain expenses. Go through every transaction and add it all up because the first place to start is to know exactly where you are. You have to know what your monthly expenses are and how much you are spending on a monthly basis. I do recommend that you go back a few months as well and that way you can pick up on your spending habits. I remember a few years ago when I started making a monthly budget, I was frightened by the numbers. I knew that something needed to be done better, but it's not until I put the numbers down on a paper and start calculating the money and seeing how much money was going out and how much money was coming in, that's whenever I really started to understand the gravity of my situation. Making a budget is not there to intimidate you or to make you feel bad, but think about what I was saying about going on a trip and about that metaphor. Whenever you are making a budget, you are planning for your trip. You need to know what you need to pack financially, how you're going to prepare financially, because whenever you get to that hill, you need to know how high your climb will be. Set up categories such as tithes and donations. Set up a category for the things at home, your lifestyle, food, auto, your debt. You can set up categories to invest in yourself or like education and continuing projects or even entertainment. Whatever you decide, put it in that spreadsheet and this will help you keep track of everything. And by doing this exercise, you will know exactly what your income is as it relates to your expenses. And you always want to make sure that your income is more or greater than your expenses, which is important and that way you will have extra money that will help you save every single month. Now, if you find that your expenses are too high, that's when you can start looking at different ways that you may be able to cut down your expenses. That may be things like removing your gym membership and beginning to work out at home, cutting your own grass, doing more cooking at home, or even decide to cut your own hair like this.
So if you cut out a few things and you still can't balance your budget, that's when you may want to consider selling some things or picking up a side hustle. Sometimes you may even find a cheaper cell phone plan or may even want to call the company to negotiate the price that you have with them, which I have had tremendous success at doing this, which I lowered my bills like annually, which I go over step by step in the video right here on how you can make that happen. Your budget is not saying that you can't have a life, but your budget is saying that I'm not going to spend more than just say $200 going out to eat this month, or I'm only going to spend $25 on taking my girls out for treats and ice cream. I'm not going to spend no more than $50 on alcohol. Whatever it is that's in your budget, just make it a line and a category, and that way that it will fit. And I had a great conversation with Rochelle from Rochelle Adamson's budget. And Rochelle says, when you are budgeting, you are just being intentional with your money, which I will leave a link down below for her channel. So just know it's not about how much money you make it's how you manage it. So check out the top video right over there where I take you on a step by step course on how to set up your budget and also those categories. The other video over there is all things related to your finances and I will see you in the next video.